My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well we are currently at the Black Rose Antique Mall in Hanover. There are multiple Black Rose Antique Malls. Um, and we are here with Jeffrey of Real Nifty Vintage, Barb and Erin. And we are looking for treasures that we can purchase for resale. Um, I've been here multiple times. I've, I've never really found a whole lot that we can resell. But there is a lot of really cool treasures to be seen here. So it may just be a browsing trip. But who knows, we might find a few things that we can resell. So we're gonna keep our eyes peeled, see what we can find. And um, yeah, here we go. All right, so everything on this little unit is 50% off. I see lots of art glass and Fenton glass particularly this little guy he is so charming this little carnival glass bear of course he's $39 so even half off I'm just not really feeling that oh my gosh there's some nice pieces here though I'm loving this poodle tray too cute $245 but it's half off Price is not marked firm. <laughs> it's a laundry sprinkler. <laughs> a laundry sprinkler? Bolt? I wouldn't have known bolt? that. I would not have known that. You taught me something today. What is it? It's a laundry sprinkler. Oh. Yeah, you didn't know that well. I what didn't know did that you call it? <laughs> I called it a vinegar. <laughs> a vinegar? Oh. I thought, you know, you need some Interesting. Vinegar. Yeah. But I had a black Myrtle, the Falls Graph Pottery Company. It's $225, so be careful with it, please. Yeah, that's yeah. expensive. <laughs> be careful tipping it. Just be very careful with it, Andrew. <laughs> They're making up prices. Okay. Um, I would think. I've never seen it. Wow, that is stunning. Victorian lamp firm. Okay, so this booth is 50% off, but that is not included in the 50% off. That is just beautiful. Wow. There's some nice pieces in here. Hmm. Mm. There's some nice stuff in this booth. Right here. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's $85. It's 50% off. Oh, I love is it. Is it really? This booth is 50% off. Unless but Mark's firm. First. <laughs> like this lamp right here so that I was eyeing up is firm. <laughs> 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 so this is $85. So half of that would be don't have a calculator. <laughs> 42? 42? 42? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, who's that company that makes them things? A lot of different ones. Who's that major guy that makes those things? That oh, guy. God. Um, <laughs> we don't want to George, Will George? No. George Wilson? No. <laughs> Will George makes them, but there's tons of different companies. Oh, Will George. Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, pretty that's pottery. hilarious. Oh my gosh. Hello, puppy. Aren't you charming? And you're not very heavy either. $45. And you're half of that. So you are $22.50. And you're very heavy. You're definitely chalkware. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about you. I do like you. I like you a lot. Talking to inanimate objects, which is nothing new. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, hello. What's wrong? No, no. You're still getting it? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. I just got here, so I'll be like, open till nine. I'll be smooth for that. Look at him. Oh, that is adorable. I just wish he had his little babies with him. Oh, that's sad. I know. He's been robbed of his Are you babies. Not a parent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's delightful. All right, and we're back at one of my favorite booths here at the Black Rose in Hanover. 
this beautiful pair. I believe they're Reglor. No, they are Continental Art Company. My bad. Uh, they are chalkware lamps. Three forty nine for the pair, which is about what you would pay. They're just absolute stunning with fiberglass double tier shades. Oh goodness, they're beautiful. When you're out at the thrift stores, these are the lamps you want to be looking for. We've talked about this before. These are good lamps right here, especially this one. Absolutely love this guy. This is like my favorite style of lamps at the moment. Big <laughs> Earl? Yeah, Figural. ceramic, yeah. I believe it's probably Royal Hager, it's possibly not. I would have had a sticker, and the sticker is long gone, but I do love it. I would never know how to choose a shade for something like that. It would have been fiberglass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's actually kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah, no, I love him. But not for $69. Maybe if it was 50% off, I would. <laughs> oh, goodness. All I have in my cart is a sad little mouse that lost its children. <laughs> and we still don't know why. Did you see the message I sent you? No, I did not see the message you sent. a Fenton dog painted to look like a pirate. A Fenton dog pirate? Yeah, Fenton, he's got, a, he's got a patch over his eye, he's got a bandana, it's really cool. Well, why didn't you get him? He's up in the front aisle. He's $47. Oh my god. Ooh. That's why I didn't get him. But he's signed. Was he on sale? I didn't look and see if the booth had a sale. Mm, well, you should have. I'm sure he'll still be there for $47 when we get up there. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a yeah, pocket. it's a wall pocket. Ten dollars. A parrot wall pocket. I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, it's fine just hanging out. You're not gonna get that? No. If you're not gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. Okay, do it, I dare you. I mean I'm not gonna like You're not going to? Really? You get first dibs, you saw it first. What are you guys seeing? We're looking at this old bird here. <laughs> and trying to decide. <laughs> What's going on with him? Oh, now he's all. <laughs> uh oh. Well, $10 is not a bad price no. for a birdie vase. I found a fish. Yeah. I'm talking about oh. Oh, <laughs> fish is coming up. Oh my gosh. Oh, my I love the fish. <laughs> it's 15 though. Oh, well, mine's 10 Oh I my win. gosh. No. Yeah. That's a cute looking fish. I no, love the fish. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> You're awfully then charitable to today. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get this. You, you, you're like, here, you take it so I don't have to buy it. Because if you're not taking it, I have to buy it. Is this what's happening? I like that fish. But why did you give her the first tips? Oh, I, I didn't mean, think oh, it. oh, oh. Okay. Here. Oh. Would you like oh. this fish? No. <laughs> make sure. No. It's the thought that. Comes oh, I'm right dying. Now. <laughs> let me see it again. Wait, I let me see it again. I can't leave it. Oh, now there's words on the back. Yeah. This changes things. I've seen Tropic online, Treasures. Like, Tropic Treasures by Sir... What? Ceram Ceramical. Ceramic Craft. I, looked them <laughs> I up thought it said Ceramical, too. <laughs> ceramical. I looked them up before. It was Let's not, get ceramical. It's not like a crazy valuable item. Well. I'm just telling you. I'm going to make it crazy valuable. There you go. Guys, this is crazy valuable now. He just sang with it. It just Maybe increased I'm in wrong. value. <laughs> Ceramical the musical. It's <laughs> <a> fish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Tropical flowers. Picture set for 28. Oh, what is that? I feel, I feel like that has too much damage. I feel like it's damaged. Oh. It's got little jewelies missing off of it. He's kind of cute. Empowered. Oh. But it's been repaired. Yeah, really poorly. Very poorly. Yeah. With the yellow glue. We're the yellow glue is down. the worst. <laughs> Didn't even try. Don't use the yellow glue, it's bad. No, that one. 
that one, the hanging one. Oh, that little guy. The hanging one. It says 60, doesn't it? 60. Oh, man. That's cool. It is cool, but I don't think for 60, if it's $60 yeah. worth of cool. It's yeah. just like maybe $20, 25 worth of cool for resale. Globe. It's like 60 for like regular cool, but not for resale. Yeah, With that like Asian globe looking thing. Yeah. That is kind of cool. It is kind of cool looking. Did you go investigate the dog? What no, is not, this? Because I, I, yeah, totally. I like this art glass bowl. What is this? I really like that art glass bowl. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Of course, every time I buy art glass, it's damaged, and I just don't see the damage until I get home and I take Thank pictures. You. It's like the curse of buying the art glass. I don't think that's a doink. I think that's a manufacturer's mark. Right? Or are those doinks? This is a doink. Those are doinks. That's a doink. Why do you always have to point out the doinks? That's a doink. What is this? What is that? I do like this though. I like it a lot. And you know what? I feel like other people would like it I a lot think, too. I think so too. I mean, with all that extra work done in the glass. And all the shinies. And, and with what that is. On and the what bottom. That is on the bottom. I'm not concerned about that. If it was like a big chip out of one of these one of the pieces. pedals yeah i would then i would be worried but you know what no that is a pretty cool piece and you can i love it that. it's shiny i like shiny things i know i know you're you like know i little, like shiny you're like things. my little crow i was thinking more like a raccoon but it's all good i'm taking this did you see what i found you you don't have to take it oh, that's cute Nice handleless teacup. That's yeah, I know. It doesn't have a mark. No, I like that, yeah. It's three dollars. Yeah. I found it for you. I like that. I'll put that with the rest of my transferware. Okay. Nice I'm glad you like it. I done good. I found a three dollar Liberty though. I saw that in the cart. Yeah, it's actually kinda of, I mean it's one of those um made for somebody type deals. Oh. To Herbie Happy Birthday Love Char, seven twenty seventy six. So it's dated, whatever, but it's actually done pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, they, they were uh, quite the artists. Yeah, just got one tiny little... Doink. Doink. A little boo-boo. for three bucks, you know. I'm sorry. It's a cool piece. I have to interrupt you. Is that a little gnome bowling over there in that case? Is that a bowling gnome? Yes. Those, <laughs> those are, those are gobels. Those are gobel pieces. It is. It is. A, um, it's a bowling here, gnome. Here, come to the next booth. Okay. Right, let me show you. Okay. I just, I had to, I, I wanted to make sure my mind was not playing tricks on me, like no, maybe. These are, are gobel pieces. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of them. They're, um, really? 70s West Germany. Um, I had, we have a whole bunch of these at home. My aunt collected these mm -hmm. with my grandmother's Goebel stuff. But they have a whole series. And if you go to my folks' house, you'll find him on the piano. I've seen him. There's the hunter, butter churn, football. Very neat. Yeah. And, and bowling guy, too. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole series of these. Interesting. Um, these are a little, these are overpriced. Yeah, I figured those Hummels don't do very well these, these are, days. These are in the 20 to $30 range retail. Hmm, interesting. Does this look familiar? Oh my gosh, yes. How much, two small ones. This how much do they want? Five. Five? Oh, well that doesn't bode well for us, does it? <laughs> and look where it's made. Made in England for LB King and Company, Detroit, Michigan. So this was made specifically for that store that was selling this. That's actually really cool, I like that. $25 though. That's a little much. It is, Yeah. especially with damage. Yeah, it's but it got is a, neat. It does, yeah, I saw the big doink there, the crack in it. Um, no, this is really cool that you, we find, I have ones at home, um, there was a merchant in Philadelphia, his name was Tyndale. Mm -hmm. And we've got some pottery pieces from Tyndale. I like it. This is a fun booth. Look at you finding all the George Washingtons. I'm going to go this way
was a great crisis. So, I know I'm being pushed to that. How much drama is Hmm. I know, I saw that. It's 14. I like that. It's even on the Lazy Susan. I know, for 14 though. Do we like it for 14? I don't know. I feel like we have to be a little more selective because we've spent like at least $400 today. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what do we have down here? I know you do. I really like this. And it's only $5. But, like I just said, we have to be more selective, so it's not coming with us. Oh, goodness. Okay, bye bye. Oh my goodness, look at those birds. Those are like lovey birds. Love birds. $35 for some love birds on a perch that are super duper heavy. I do kind of love those love birds. I feel like $35 is a lot. I am recording, hi! I'm recording the birds! Oh, look, I have a dog too! Oh, look! You have a pirate dog! Oh, look! Oh, they're all in a little chain! And they're all glued together. So they'll be together forever. Forever? He's not gonna lose them like the mouse. Oh my god. I always get so scared. Age 50. Not a bad price for little people. Yeah, I like it. And the dog, the little dogs are waving. Yeah, they're saying hi. Take me hi. Home. We want to go with you. So, did you want it? Me? Yeah. I would. I you would take You could sell it for a thousand dollars. I could. You, I would. You could. Not many people can't. <laughs> but I will take them. Yes, okay. I will take. This is my generosity. Mm. Uh oh. I'm gonna just set this That's in the in the cart because obviously I can't set it back on the shelf, so it has to come with me. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Barb found an Art Deco frame. Look at that, and it has this reflective. He is delightful. But overpriced. Forty-seven dollars for a pirate I dog. I feel like that is overpriced. I mean, it's Fenton, but Fenton's really the market on that's kind of soft. Even for a pirate dog. Soft yeah. Doggy. But pirate doggy. I've never seen that before. That's that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Are you sure that somebody didn't just paint him to look like that after the fact? Well, that's what the Fenton people will do. No, they I mean would... like somebody named Oh, Joe. like later on? Joe no, or Jan I don't or think so. Carol. Or, think or... So. Raphael. M. <laughs> Actually, now that's a person. I know that person. Yeah. Not not real. I mean, it's a... It's, a it's an artist. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A real artiste. It's a cool piece, though. I have a um, I like something it. at home in Fenton, and it's signed the same way. Mm. Mm hmm. The more you know. <laughs> Kitty is fun. This actually caught my eye. Fortunately, it's twenty-eight dollars. Why are these two different colors, though? Are these mismatched? One probably went through the dishwasher. No, there's two that are this color and two that are this color. Maybe, maybe that's a a real nifty vintage question. Oh, it's just alternating. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's, yeah, there's it's just an alternating pattern. Colors. Yeah, that's all. Yes. What he said. <laughs> butterfly, eighteen dollars for the butterfly carnival dish. Oh my gosh! Look at the heart. It's beautiful. It's forty-five dollars. I'm kind of in love with this dog. Oh my gosh. But it's $60. And it's firm. It's a firm dog. It's a firm. It's a very firm dog. <laughs> I'm loving this dish. But the dish is 45 <laughs> That's unique. I've not. I've never seen this no. before. For real. They've probably looked it up and know how much it's worth, though. I feel like the prices of the other stuff in the booth, they probably know. Carnival Heart Share. What does that say? Mm -hmm. Shared box? Shaped. Shaped. Heart shaped. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
That's why my viewers are like, Jocelyn, you need to wear your glasses. You don't know what you're saying. <laughs> You're like me, making things harder than they are. Like, <laughs> no, it can't be a simple word like shape. It's you, sheer. Forgot. Oh my god! My other my video the other day, I read the back of a plate that said Shelly, and I thought it said Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, what did you find? Oh, I just found this cool little piece of art glass. Um, it's, it's got hand, like kind of a silver crest. It's hand blown. It's got a pommel mark on it. Um, just kind of neat. Ten bucks. And yeah. Fifteen percent off. Candy dish. So. Um, it's a shame that flowers are coming off, starting but... to come off a little bit, but you know what? That's that's still a cool piece, and for yeah, the price, for the that's price, very absolutely, reasonable. I love it. So let's in grab the it. it goes. In the cart it goes. We're getting some good stuff today. Twelve dollar birdie pitcher. It's very light, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about him. Like on one hand, I think he's a great bird. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But like this chip, I guess I'm just yeah. looking for ways not to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that's what I do. But it is Japan, and it does show age, and it is pretty. The color combos are nice on here. I love the figural pieces, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's why I'm drawn to it, even with that chippy wait, chip. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who picked it out? I know who pointed it out. Wait, 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 wait. We're analyzing it over here. So. <laughs> oh gosh. So twelve dollars. If you, how much do you think you sell it for? About thirty. Yeah, probably 25 to 30. Even with the chippy chip. Chippy, because it's a chippy, bird chippy. and it's figural. What's going on with the handle? I just noticed something. What is this? Okay, no, it's just crazing. Yeah, I think it just needs to be washed. And I just love that there's like a little bass hound up there. I think that makes it a yes. <laughs> yes to the duck creature, kookaburro thing. <laughs> I think if this little guy wasn't $15, he would be coming home with me. 15. I know it's the eyes. Complex, yeah. Oh, it's all right there, yeah. All right, so this little guy is actually 20% off. So I think I am going to take him with me for 20% off. I love his little eyeballs. Citizens Bank Park is just like a block I agree. I'm just like, okay. Look at him, he's staring at you. Oh, he's kind of a crazy looking guy. <laughs> he's perfect, I love him. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, me. Look at me. <laughs> I, don't, I picked that up too. Did you? <laughs> I like those. I do too, I love him. I love this table. That's awesome. Two twenty nine. I know, right? I did a video. Some really good shape. I, I, I found some really cool tables in there. Some white ones with like the red, uh, you know, like yeah, so awesome. And they even had chairs. These were the cracked ice chairs. They're nice. I love this quilt for ninety. Super. Mmm. I got one of these today for nineteen. <laughs> oh gosh. That's fun. 90 bucks. Oh, that's not fun. I got one today for 19. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Beautiful. I do love those colors, though. Like a giant sun. Yeah, well, it's a Texas star. They call it a oh. new starburst. Maybe it's a different a variation, but the lone star, I don't know. They, they I remember I got one once and they had all these different names for it, but star variation of some sort. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this is delightful. <laughs> it's like an alien frog. Can I eat your soul? I love this reverse paint on here. I I'm a sucker for reverse paint. Oh, ooh, I'm just going to knock that over. That is nice. I, I mean, I totally missed that. So art deco. Yeah. That's fun. I like the other one better. <laughs> Wood. Look at and they painted over everything. I'm mad. I know, I know. Right, that's why. I'll... And scuffed it up even. They were like, here, we'll help it out. Get some sandpaper. Yeah. No, you may have to nice. Give it a weathered look. Put this right here. Mm. Did they? Is that original? I believe. Oh, and they. And they... Yeah. Really? Really. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. What are we gonna oh, do? Um, I'm ending mine too. All right, so we're gonna end the video right there. We're about to check out, but we had a blast with all of our new friends today, and um, hopefully they come and visit again soon because they're on their way to Philadelphia. So make sure you check out Real Nifty Vintage. I'm gonna put a link to his channel down below, and uh, stay tuned tomorrow for a haul video. But we will catch you guys later. Bye. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna roll right into our haul video because we didn't get a whole lot at the antique mall in this video and I didn't really wanna put out a really short video tomorrow. I figured we'd do a shopping video tomorrow either with Sue or Andrew and we'd just roll into our haul video and get that out of the way. So, <laughs> let's talk about everything that we got on our shopping trip today with Real Nifty Vintage and what we paid for it and how much I can expect to get for it on eBay. So I'm gonna put up here what our total spend was because I can't remember. They took out all the tags when I paid for it and so like it was last week sometime. I don't know, I can't remember that far back. Um, we're gonna go over what, everything we got. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, I'm trying to think of what to start with. Um, it's late. We'll start with the mouse because that is one of the first items that I found. Now, this little mouse would have had a little chain and he would have had little baby mice to go with him, similar to our little pointer dog that we have here. He's got the chain with his little doggies, puppies there. Uh, the mouse would have been the same. The mouse is made by Arnart, I believe, yeah, Arnart. Uh, would have had the babies. With the babies, the mouse sells for $30 to $40. Because the mouse does not have the babies, I'm thinking it would probably sell between $12 and $18. But he does have his original sticker, and he's kind of funny, funny looking. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. He's kind of one of those odd figurines that I don't come across very often, so I had to have him. <laughs> oh goodness all right uh also i grabbed this picture now i was really shocked to find out that this picture is not worth very much i thought this picture would be worth at least i don't know 25 to 35 dollars because it's figural it's a bird uh, i like the colors i think it's actually a really neat piece um, but these pictures from Japan, these bird figural pictures don't actually sell for very much. Um, you guys have to understand when I go picking, when I go shopping, I rarely check my phone. Uh, those who have been picking and shopping with me know that I rarely check my phone. There is, on occasion, I will come across items that I do have to look up uh, with it when I was out with Real Nifty Vintage, the Sour, the Sour Puss purse, I think it was. Um, I had to look that up. I did not know. I don't know much about purses, but I liked it a lot and I was like, you know, I could be um, <laughs> eating this one if I don't look it up. So, um, but this is one of those where I just had a feeling about it and apparently my feeling was, you know. So, it's made in Japan. I really like it. You know, if I'm, I'm going to sell it, but if I wanted to hold on to it, I would. I hopefully don't take a loss on it. I can't remember what I paid for it, but uh, it does have a chip. I do remember it having a chip on the rim. So it's more of a display piece, but I really like the color. And you know I have a thing for birds. So <laughs> I think um, I should say how much it's worth. Uh, it's probably worth, there, there's one listed right now on eBay for $10, buy it now with no chips and no cracks. So that's kind of an indicator. This is probably worth about eight to $12, um, unfortunately. So, which really surprises me. I'm actually very surprised by that. Uh, this little guy is just a little Japanese planter. You guys know I picked these up. I love, I have a thing for planters and when I can get them cheap enough, I buy them. This one was not very cheap, but, <sighs> I liked the puppy. I liked that he's like looking off, like he's done something naughty. It's like, you know when your dog does something like it's not supposed to and it's in the other room and you're like, you've discovered that he like ripped apart the garbage and you're like, 
Marmaduke! And he's like, and his ear goes up and he like looks and that that's the look this dog has. Like, oh no, I'm in trouble. And that's why I like this planner. So I, I do remember uh, it was $15 and then I discovered, I think it was 20% off and I'm like, I can justify that. Um, I hope that I make my money back on it, but I don't know. Yeah, but it's, this trip was kind of like, I like these things, so I'm buying them. It's kind of one of those trips. It wasn't really like, hey, I can make a ton of money on these things. Now this little pointer dog, uh, Japan, it's got these two little waving puppies. Uh, this little figurine would probably go for, I don't know, 8 to $12. I can't remember how much I paid for. But there are no chips and cracks on it, and it's got its two little puppies. Neither of them are hurt either. They've got all their appendages. So, little figurines. Now let's talk about the glass. This piece right here. I actually looked at this and wanted so bad to be like, maybe that's Fenton, but I couldn't convince myself of it. I just couldn't. And the reason being this pontal mark on the bottom. And I actually posted it in my group and I'm like, can somebody please tell me this isn't Fenton? Because I'm just like, yeah, it's not the, the you know, it's got the silver crest, but it's this weird shape and it's got this awkward handle and it's applied very sloppily. I'm not sure who the glass maker is that makes this. It's kind of a Fenton shape. It's not Fenton, it's just art glass. Uh, I already had this listed. I, I kind of put my videos out of order and so some of this stuff I do have, I did list early and then realized that, oh no, the videos aren't gonna hit in time. So this piece I actually already sold and I can't remember how much it sold for. I wanna say it's 20 something. So um, this was actually Andrew's pick. He picked this one. But I thought it was pretty. I really like that kind of butterscotch color. He did a good job with that. He really did. And last but not least, we've got our bowl. Now, when I first picked this up, I wanted so badly to say there's no way this is Murano. And I basically convinced myself that it was like not Murano. That's too good to be true because I didn't pay very much for it. And I got it home and I sent a picture to my very good friend Mary who has studied Murano and is very, very good at recognizing Murano and she instantly, that's Murano. She knew right away. Uh, it is a beautiful bowl. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's mid-century. It's probably a console bowl. It would, just, it would sit in the middle of the table, but um, it, does, it does have a couple doinks on the back, but I, they're really not that bad. You know, you, I think back to that, uh, I think it was a Brovier Toso, maybe not. Uh, that little dish that I got out of the bins that was just smashed. It, I mean, no, yeah, that, that was bad, but this just has like a little doink that hasn't even spidered, it just, you know. I got bonked with something, but I absolutely love this dish. I mean, look at it, it's so pretty. It like sparkles. I'm like, I'm like a raccoon in that sense. I'm like, look, it's shiny. Uh, so for this bowl, I think I can at least get $45 for it, hopefully more. Honestly, the Murano glass market, I'm not really sure how to predict it these days. There was a there was days when it was like, oh yeah, I know how much I can make on these lamps. And there that's the key word there is like the lamps. I I know the lamp Murano market. When it comes to bowls, I'm a little bit out of my league there. Um, but this, I think I can make at least $45. Possibly more if I was to list it as a buy it now and wait for that right buyer to come along. But uh, I'm just gonna list it and see what it does. So as long as I make make my money back, maybe make a little profit, that would be nice. But the truth is we had so much fun on our shopping trip that as long as I make my money back and make a little profit, we got to hang out with friends, we had a great time. And uh, that's really, I, I take away from that experience and I, I like it. 
So anyway, this is everything we got. Like I said, it's not a whole lot. I didn't want to just hit you guys with this haul video tomorrow because it's not very long and it's really just kind of, you know, oh, we've got six things to talk about today. Um, <laughs> but tomorrow we're gonna do a shopping video. So you guys have that to look forward to. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you go check out Real Nifty Vintage. I put a link to his channel down in the description. Uh, this is our last collab video to, together, unfortunately, and he's gonna be heading off to collab with other YouTubers on his channel. So you should go tune in to see, see that. But um, anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.